Hi there, back into the full Nodar rigging system. So here I just drag and drop one module, set it, change the name of the controller, right click and choose rig, it's done. Right click again and choose template, you go back in the template mode. Change your template and rig it again. It's that simple. You can also duplicate it using the same radar menu, change the setting to have a different controller's name and just rig it again. After each change or new connections on an item, a red bar appears. It just means rig me. Those two items are independent so far, so let's connect them and rebuild to apply connections. Now it's connected. Every controller on baguette can have any kind of custom shape. We can choose from an extended list of pre existing shapes, which is really nice. But we can also change this shape directly. Um, all we have to do after editing our shape is to click on Save Shapes button. We can also decide to have custom connections. We can create our own input and output connections. Every module comes with a certain number of predefined controls you can access and decide the type of connection you want to connect. And so here I create two input connections on the arm one for the main IK, the other for the power vector. On the node two, I create the output connection and connect it directly to the main IK input and connect the module one to the elbow. Now we can see the controller are connected. We can also specify the type of connection we want. By default, it's a parent constraint, but it can be our own constraint, for example. So let's try it. And it works as expected. It exists a third type of connection, the attribute connections. Attribute connections allow to connect two attributes. It can be a new attribute or an existing attribute. So on the module one, I create a float attribute, I need up. And on the arm, I want to use the translate wise of the power vector controller, so I just need to specify these attributes. Bagel uh, actually will recognize it and use it directly. So let's connect and rig. Now you can see the attribute up on the controller from 1 drives the translate Y of the power vector. There's a button to find and focus your item in the UI from any Maya nodes. It comes pretty handy with big and complex rig. One of the most common problems in production for the rigger is to update the model. I didn't want to have a system where we needed to rebuild the whole rig every time, so instead I thought about having some independent module we can be rebuilt without destroying the rig. Here I just went to template mode and I move now my elbow. You might have noticed that nothing has moved, which is really great. And once I'm happy, I can just rebuild. To mirror the fix with just shade on the left arm, we can just simply mirror the two items. Select the source item and after the target item. Mm, click on the mirror two items button, rebuild, and it's done. We can show hide the grid. Showing the grid activate the snap. Space switching is another important component for rig, so there is a simple model for that. Every node connected to the space item will be the driver. Name of the enemy can be edited directly. And we can reuse the same item to connect to multiple controllers where the space will apply. Here I just create a new headspace to the existing ARM global space item. I need to connect the head to it. And so I create the output connection from the head and connect it. On to build all the control connected has this eight space. Switching between the spaces is nice, but not losing the pose is even better. So we have a button in the baguette shelf which does that. The button dynamically finds all the spaces available and switch between them. The shelf is automatically created when you call baguette. It gives basic features for the animators, like the IKFK switch or the back to IK or FK. Every controller has a default pose, we cannot be zero. So when I click on pose, the controller go to his default pose. 
the user also can go to the zero pose. Your user user can also set a custom pose and come back to this custom pose whenever he wants. The zero pose makes the arms and legs perfectly straight and follow world axis. I wanted to give the opportunity for any riggers to add custom rigs and python scripts so every item created has a post script where you can write anything and you also don't need to hard code anything since you can access to some variables of the node itself directly so there is no need to worry about the names when you change them Another feature really useful is to copy paste nodes so you can copy paste nodes between two different Maya sessions And since you can copy paste, you can also export and import any nodes or group of nodes in one file. Then you can share this file with other riggers. A ring node file is 100 times smaller than the same Maya file. We just saw that we can export any rig from the UI, so now it's easy to create any preset for full setup and reuse them for a new asset. So here I use the bipad preset and you can see everything is already connected and well organized, I just need to rig it. Et voila, a full bipad rig with no effort. I can also do a quadruple account playing anything I've already rigged. You might have noticed earlier, but I implemented the same shortcut as in Maya. For a focus on any other item selected, I click F on the keyboard, and to focus all the items, I click A on the keyboard. Animators can use the pick walk and down to select the controllers. Baguette automatically set up what is the parent controllers, and uh, Ruger don't have to think about it. He never returns it's important when you want to maintain an efficient code. Here, I try to push more and more this concept to have to code less in the future, so the one module is the base of every module. I could create a simple IK and the foot from it. The arm is an inheritance from sample IK where I just added a clavicle. The leg is read from the sample IK and the foot. The quad leg is like the leg with a more complex structure, so if I add a feature like the double joint on the simple IK, all the arm, leg and quad leg will have it. Baguette also create one full rear key of scanning joint. It allows me to send the rig to any mockup company or use a rig with a crowd system.